As always, hope you're doing well and making music. One year ago, I made a video called I'm taking a break from school and moving to Nashville. And I did just that. It's been one year in Nashville and I've been spending all my time making music and videos. Let's talk about it. First of all, just like how I started my last update video, I wanna say thank you for supporting the channel and supporting me on this journey. We're about to hit 30,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind. YouTube's been such a passion of mine for more than five years. And the fact that I am able to build a channel and a genuine community is, it's my dream. So thank you, Zolmates. I've just been watching my bank account plummet towards zero. So I'm either going to have to get a part-time job pretty soon, which is something that I've always planned on doing. Nashville is expensive, so I'm, I'm probably going to get a part-time job. But... Or I'm just going to have to really spend a lot of time on the store. Finances. Money. Just like the last update video, we are starting there. Because sadly, I do have to think about it a lot. I have not had to get a part-time job in the ensuing months after that video, and that is all thanks to y'all. However, my bank account still seems pretty adamant about heading to zero, but it's at a slower rate now. The scariest thing about creating content full-time is the irregularity of your monthly income. Sometimes you can really ball out and, you know, feel good about yourself. And then the next month you'll only make 700 bucks instantly texting your parents if you can move back in with them. And I think that's where a lot of stress can come into play. But after posting that update video six months ago and reading all of your amazing supportive comments, I was able to zoom out and kind of let go of the grip on the notion that I needed to succeed now within the next few months. It helped me think, okay, let's keep grinding, but if things don't turn out exactly how I see them turning out, we can always get a job and that is not the end of the world. I declare bankruptcy! So I just kept moving onward and eventually was able to create my mixing and mastering service on my store, which has helped a lot. I haven't made crazy amounts of money with it, but through that service, I've been able to meet dope artists who I built relationships with. And there's a few artists that have a lot of songs that I'm working on a monthly basis with, which really helps with the irregularity of my monthly income. So if you're one of those artists, just wanted to say thank you. And let's keep making some fire music. This is gonna be kind of embarrassing, but here's my monthly income for 2022 so far. And here is my expenses for 2022. First of all, I don't make a lot of money in general. I am not rich, but I do get to spend every day doing things that I love, which is way more important than that. As you can see, my monthly expenses are pretty consistent around $13.50, but my monthly income, however, is all over the place. In February, I made $800, and then the next month, I made two grand. But if we zoom in, I started building more long-term relationships with the artists that I work with around May, and that's where it started to be a little bit more consistent. Let me know if you'd want to see a more in-depth breakdown on how much money I make from Shopify, YouTube, live streams, my music, and how that's all moved around throughout the years. I've literally written down every dollar and cent that I have made and paid for the past two to three years, so comment down below. Spending more time working with other artists has taken a hit on the time I spend making videos and my own music, but again, I've kind of let go of the idea that I need to make this YouTube video right now because it's going to blow up, or I need to drop these three songs because they will go viral on TikTok. Just keep moving with patience. I'm doing better than I was here in Nashville. It doesn't mean I don't have days where I'm down and questioning everything, but one step at a time. And I do think something exciting is around the corner. As y'all know, I'm living with my brother, who's also a producer and artist. He's been working at a car dealership for the past year, but a month ago, he quit to work on music full-time too. 
He doesn't like to be on camera much, but we have been working a bunch on music together. We're making a lot of samples that he sends to producers he knows, which is exciting. And we're gonna start making videos together. You should definitely go check out his music and his YouTube channel where he posts his type beats. Also, shouts out to my boy Felix Fizo. We made a collab video this year. And yeah, we've just become good friends. Not a lot of people my age aren't going to school and have a huge passion for both YouTube and music. So it's nice chatting with him and stay tuned because we have some very big things coming soon. And yeah, just to clarify, I'm going another year without going to school. As much as this journey is confusing and I doubt myself at times, I still have that weird feeling that this is what I should be doing. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. Also side note on that, if I pick up where I left off and I go to school next year as a junior, I'll be going to school with my little brother in the same grade as him, and all of my friends will have graduated. Something to think about. All right, Zolmates, this is to taking it one step at a time, 1% better each day. I wish this video was a lot more entertaining with a lot more things, but 2022 has been very consistent so far, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity to chase my dreams. Zolmates for life. Peace.